From Lawrence Academy in Groton, Mass., this is the 2017 NEPSAC Kevin Fleming Bowl on LSP. Today, it's the Lawrence Academy Spartans with an undefeated record of 8-0, hosting the Phillips Andover Big Blue with a record of 6-2. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Sam Feely, ready to bring you the play-by-play -play story. L.A. in its fourth consecutive bowl game, looking to win its third bowl game in that span. They defeated Williston-Northampton three years ago, Suffield two years ago, lost to Govs last year. But Paul Zakoskis' squad is 8-0 and heavily favored against Phillips Andover, who eked out a win in their annual rivalry game against Exeter last week, 17-14. And that is likely what got them to this game in the first place. And now they want to capitalize and pull off a big upset on the road. Coin toss is complete. It looks like Phillips Andover has won the toss and will receive. And L.A. will defend the east end zone, going right to left in the navy blue jerseys with the white helmets, pants, and white numbers. And Philip Sandover in the white helmets, white jerseys, gray pants, and blue numbers. Glad you're with us for what should be an exciting game. NEPSAC Championship on the line. For the big blue. And the ball will be spotted at exactly the 20. And that is where Zach Geddes and the Phillips Andover offense will begin the game. As I said, quite cool tonight. Uh, today, rather. 40 degrees at game time. Geddes in the shotgun set. One set back. Three wide outs to the far side left. One to the near side right. And he takes a shotgun snap, looking over the middle, now looking left, flush from the pocket. Coming to the near side, will throw, and the pass is complete. And trying to wrestle free from the tackle is number 87, Colby Gendron, finally brought down by Spencer Aronson. It's a pickup of five, and it'll be second and five. Same formation as last play. Gettys looking left. Once again, flush from the pocket. Looking down the near sideline. We'll just throw it at the feet of Gendron. LA fans wanted a holding call. Weren't going to get it, and it's third and five. Third and five for the Big Blue as we have a four wide out set. One running back in the backfield for Geddes. That's number 44, senior captain Adam Cohen. Geddes takes a snap. Looking left. Now looks to go up the middle. And he is stopped short of the 30-yard line. And just barely got across the 25 for a pickup of one. And that will be fourth and four. For the big blue, and it looks like they're going to have to punt. Juan Muse back deep to receive for the Spartans. And a rugby-style kick will go very deep. Muse came up way up to uh, play that ball, and the ball will be down at the 41-yard line of the Spartans. Great starting field possession for the Spartans' first drive of the ball game. Nepsack Football on LSP is brought to you by Lawrence Academy in Groton, Mass. Considering an independent high school, log on to lawrenceacademy.info for complete information on their programs and be sure to tour their beautiful campus with their new turf field complex. Brady Martin, the sophomore quarterback, highly touted prospect out of Lemonster, Mass. Sends a man in motion to the far side right. It's Joe Lachetti. And it's a sweep to Lachetti. And he gets across the 45 into Andover territory into the Andover 45. It is a pickup of 14. And another for, and a uh, first first down of the game 
for the Spartans. Lachetti, not really uh, much of a running threat, at least uh, not often, but he picks up 14 on the first play from scrimmage for the Spartans. First and 10, ball is on the 44. It's actually a pickup of 15. 44 of Andover. Hand off up the middle to Muse. Escapes a couple tackles. Gets it to the second level. It's close to another first down. Looks like he has it. Uh, exactly 10 yards to the 34. And yes, it is another first down for the Spartans. So they're just moving the ball very efficiently right now. First and 10 from the end over 34. Back-to-back -back runs of 14 and 10 to start the drive for the Spartans. Martin takes the shotgun sap, fakes the handoff. Looking left, flush to his right. Fires complete. And out of bounds is Aronson. Close to another first down. And he did, in fact, get it. Three plays, three first downs for the Spartans. They are coming out with a purpose to begin the their first drive of the ball game. It's a pickup of... 11 to the 23. Pitch to Muse, left side. 20 and out of bounds inside the 20. So finally Andover prevents the Spartans from getting a first down, but it was a decent chunk of yardage. Five yards, in fact, to the 18, where it'll be second and five. Touchdown, Spartans! 18 yards. Muse had carries of 10, 5, and 18 on that drive. They went 59 yards in just five plays. And 33 yards coming on rushes by Juan Muse. And now A.J. Mastrangelo for the extra point. Muse is a freshman, mind you. And the kick is just inside the upright and good. And with 9.27 to go in the first quarter, Lawrence Academy 7, Phillips and over nothing. This is the Nepsack Kevin Fleming Bowl on LSP. Advertising opportunities are available on LSP. Get your company's message on air or on localsportsproductions.com for as little as $25 an ad. Visit localsportsproductions.com slash advertising or email sam at localsportsproductions.com for more information. Mr. Angelo to kick it deep, back deep to receive are Andrew Antonucci and Jacob Jordan. Three plays, six yards on the first drive for Andover, and five plays, 59, and a touchdown on the first drive for the Spartans. Mastrangelo boots it deep. And it looks like it's going to be Jordan. Jordan from the two, coming to the near side. Across the 15, uh, gets to the 15 before he's wrapped up on the special teams tackle by Peter Bryant, one of the captains. He's a junior captain from Ayer Mass, 6'2", 230. I mentioned uh, Andover just squeaked into this bowl game after a three-point victory over our tribal Exeter last week. But you know they're not just happy to be here. They want to pull off a huge upset on the road. But right now they're down seven with not even three minutes gone by in the first quarter. Here's Geddes in the shotgun. Two wide outs to either side. Takes a snap. Looks left. Fires. And it is dropped. Nearly a one-handed catch by Michael McCollum. But instead it's second and ten. Second and 10, ball is on the 16 of the big blue. Again, two wideouts to either side. 
one running back. It's the senior captain, Adam Cohen. And the snap is bobbled by Geddes, picks it up, running, looking to throw, and he just spikes it at the feet of the nearest receiver, who happened to be McCollum, and it'll be third and ten. Lucky not to have lost yardage there or turned the ball over, or worse yet, or the big blue. Geddes is one of four for five yards to begin the ball game. Two wideouts once again to either side. Cohen the, be Cohen the lone setback, Geddes in the shotgun. He's gonna run it up the middle. Now cut to his left. Escapes a couple of tackles, but will be forced out of bounds by Thomas Greeny. And it will not be nearly enough for a first down. And once again, a three and out for the Spartans. Sorry for the co connection delays as we have a fake punt executed. Uh, no, well, it looked like a fake punt, but it's another rugby-style punt that's going to be let go by Aronson and downed at the 34 of the Spartans. Sorry for the connection issues, folks. But we're back on. Didn't miss much. Want LSP to tape or broadcast your team's games? Rates start just $100 per game. Also ask about having LSP uh, stream your next gaming tournament, concert, recital, school play, or other event. Visit localsportsproductions.com slash services or email sam at localsportsproductions.com for more information. Martin to his right, and what a catch! Nearly dropping it was Justin Barron, but he gets enough for a first down. The opposite of the result for McCollum on that one pass play. Pickup of 12 to the 46 where it'll be first and 10. Two of two for 23 yards is Brady Martin. And Aronson will be brought down in the backfield. Big stop on the play by the Big Blue. They needed that Owen Dignan leading the charge there for the Andover offensive line. It's a loss of five and a uh, loss of five. It'll be second and 15. Martin won't escape the second effort. And the Spartans fans wanted a face mask called on Norris Beatty, the senior captain, who stands 6'8", 340. And now there is a late flag. And it is, in fact, a personal foul face mask against Beatty. So that wipes out the five yard, the six yard loss that would have made it third and 21. And that'll be an automatic first down as well. It's kind of a delayed penalty, but it was definitely an obvious one on Beatty. So here we go, first and 10 into Andover territory at the 44. Andover bails out the Spartans there. Hand off to Muse. Cuts it to his left, then back up the middle and gains a good chunk of yards to about the 40, uh, the 37 of the big blue. It's a pickup of seven. Make it second and three. Muse has four carries for 40 yards already. Second and three. Hand off. And Josh Aruda gets a first down for the Spartans. Pick up of 
Pickup is to the 27 yard line. It's a pickup of 10 for Aruda. Paul Zakaskis getting everybody involved in the offense in the early going. Hand off to Aruda to the left side. And gets across the 20 close to the 15. Ball be spotted on the 17 yard line and it's a pickup of a 10, exactly 10 for a first down. So Aruda back to back first down rushes. Hand off to Muse, cuts it left, trying to get the corner, touchdown Spartans. Muse's second touchdown of the first quarter and it's 13 nothing. I don't know if Leon Modesti wants to call a timeout here, but this is getting ugly early. 13-0, possibly 14-0 if Mastrangelo can make this kick. We're not even halfway through the first quarter. Then again, LA is heavily favored in this game for a reason. They're 8-0 for a reason. Mastrangelo's extra point is good. And with 6.24 to go in the first quarter, it is Lawrence Academy 14, Phillips Andover uh, nothing. This is the Nepsack Kevin Fleming Bowl on LSP.